Okay, so what I have done is I, um, in the time between the last video and this video, I did go over my notes that I made, my bullets and my dashes, and good notes, and I actually also looked at the conclusion section to the, the paper, because I, I felt I remembered this conclusion actually really nicely summed up the, uh, the contributions of the paper. So I, 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 in that way, I'm not completely in the same mindset as when I, that I ended the video, but I still have no idea what I'm going to do. But I, but I am fresh with things I thought were important while I read the paper. So I did that step. Um, so right now I am looking at my notes and honestly there are a lot of places I could start with this model and as I said when I ended that last video the the um, the purpose not what what's the word I'm looking for the method that I'm going to use um, is I'm just going to get started just like using tinder box I'm just going to do it and see what emerges and then um, and then edit instead of like try to figure out the best way so I really have no idea. There are a lot of different places I could start. Um, I could start with technology. I could start with goodness of fit. I could start with unconscious, unselfconscious interaction. Um, I could start with uh, slow technology even. Um, but right now, just because I don't know any better, I'm going to start with just, to, I'm just going to define what is it. This may change, but let's just start with unconscious Interaction. Oh, no, it's not unconscious. <laughs> It'd be funny if it was. Unselfconscious <laughs> interaction. <sighs> okay, so we got that. I should zoom in a bit because I'm on a 13 inch um, MacBook Pro for what it's worth in terms of screen real estate, if that matters to you. Unselfconscious interaction is. Um, Okay, so now I have to figure out what is it uh, in terms of a model. Um, and, and I say that it is a way to design that um, achieves goodness of fit. So let's just, just start there. This is... Um, I like to try to make these similar, but I don't know if I'm doing it right, so I'm just going to do this. Unselfconscious interaction is a design method that achieves goodness of fit. In HCI, that's important. Actually, so let's just bleep bleep. This A is an HCI design method. All right, so we're starting. I guess what I'm doing here is I'm trying to create a sentence that has logic. Um, now, I think that these little connection things may be important one day, and I'm just like ruining it because I just make them very specific. But I learned how to create concept maps on this tool called CMAP Tools that I loved, and it required you to annotate your arrows, and I think that's a wonderful habit. And so I annotate my arrows, and I, I don't use it for the type thing that I think would actually be quite helpful programmatically in the future. H Until conscious interaction is an HCI design method that achieves goodness of fit, so it needs to be. So this is another problem with Tinderbox that I find when I'm using it my way, is that I, I don't know if you saw this, but when it's pretty like that, I can't get to the eye. Um, I guess I could get to the eye there, but sometimes I can't get to the eye, and it's a frustrating thing. So I need to say that achieves I before E achieves goodness of fit. Okay, now how does it achieve goodness of fit and what is goodness of fit? So this is going to have two things, uh, which is defining goodness of fit 
I just hit created GOF. That's not a thing. Okay, which is Fuck that. What I'm trying to do here and it's not working very well is I'm trying to get this arrow to go there. Okay, and I'll bump this back up. Which is and I'll define that over there. Um, and then this will be by. Okay, so let's look at my notes now. How do you achieve goodness of fit? Well, you have to create uh, a designed uh, object that has two qualities, according to the, uh, the, the article. Uh, one quality is open-endedness, and the other quality is lived with. Okay. Open-endedness is all one word, apparently. Open-endedness. Interesting. Now, uh, just noting that these two words, because they are per important words, I'm making sure I use them exactly the way that the author um, did. Okay, so now I need a word here. Um, goodness of um, I think I need a word in the middle. Um, that word might be design. Um, maybe I don't. What? Okay, so what I'm thinking now is, do I need, well, I want a Zettle that is about design. So right now I know where my Zettles are. Um, I'll have a Zettle for goodness of fit. I'll have, uh, I'll probably have some Zettles over here around, um, yeah, I don't really need that, do I? Well, I may, um. I don't think I need that. So this is great. This is exactly what happens. <laughs> like, nope, I don't need that because I'll make goodness of fits definition in it settle. Um, so, so, so the logic here needs to be unselfconscious interaction is an HCI method that achieves goodness of fit by designing objects that have qualities like lived with and open endedness. So that's the sentence that I'm trying to visually model right now. Um, so, because I think lived with and open-endedness need to be zettles. Now, the question is, is there a zettle in between goodness of fit and lived with and open-endedness? And that zettle being, um, a zettle about the nature of design that wouldn't fit inside of lived with and open-endedness. That's my thought process right now. So, for the sake of time, and also, like I said before, we're just going to try it and see if it works or not. We're just going to go with, we'll find the right words to connect those. We don't need an intermediary box. All right, so once we have open-endedness and lived with, um, what I want to do is um, I have these examples. There are three examples from the article. 